My name is uh, Paul Douglas. I'm a meteorologist on a good day. There aren't many good days. Um, I'm also a, uh, an entrepreneur. I'm on my seventh company. Have that, that itch to keep starting companies. And uh, I'm a proud father. I've got two amazing boys and I'm a new grandfather. I have a, uh, a 10 month old grandson, Jordan, who is the the joy in my life right now, especially during this rough year with COVID, uh, he's brought so much brightness to an otherwise dark year. So I take nothing for granted. I'm a Christian. I'm a scientist and I'm a Christian. And people scratch their heads and say, how can that be? And I say, look, um, God gave us big, beautiful brains. He wants us to improve our lives on his creation. He gave us this amazing toolkit filled with tools to learn more about God's creation and to try to make things better for all of us. And so I acknowledge science, but I have faith in something more. I came to Christ when I was 13. My mom was a strong Baptist. We were raised Baptist, Presbyterian, and Lutheran. So I was confused. My dad used to joke, yeah, we're, we're shopping for a better deal. And I, and like Mitch, I'm kind of non-denominational. I consider myself a spiritual evangelical. And um, I know when I was 13, I, I went to I went to Bible camp, and uh, that put something in my heart that wasn't there before. And I accepted the Lord when I was 13, and then rededicated my life and my my walk my ministry to Christ when I was in college at Penn State, Campus Crusade for Christ, uh, kept me somewhat centered during my college years. And so when people say it's a crutch, religion is a crutch, I go, no, it's it's a leg. It's a leg that I stand on. And um, I come to Christ through evidence and faith. There is plenty of evidence out there for people who take the time to really walk and open their minds and open their hearts. I mean, we have, you know, the apostles, the modern day journalists, different backgrounds, all telling pretty much the same story about this amazing man who lived 2000 years ago. There hasn't been anyone like him since. And so there's plenty of evidence, but then at the end of the day, you come to Christ, you come to God through, through faith. You open up your heart and say, all right, I don't know everything, but I believe that there is a plan and something this amazing, this creation, life, waking up in the morning, self-awareness, didn't happen by accident. That there is a master plan. There is a creator. He is a loving creator. Thank goodness for that. And he just wants us to get closer to him and to make things better. So I... I give thanks for every day, and I give thanks for the amazing people I've met along the way. And here's a, a little secret. All of us have a ministry. God doesn't want solos. He wants a chorus, all of us singing different parts. And so that's what I find amazing. Um, all of us have a role to play. We're here for four reasons, to love, to be loved, to make a difference, and to make things better. All of us have a ministry. So I'm grateful for all I've been given and um, looking forward to what comes next.